So yeah, this is ridiculous, right? Like, look how much it sticks out. Like, and so the microphone is on the front, so that's a good thing. So the sound quality, you know, is probably going to be pretty good, and you're never going to, you know, assuming it's not windy, you know, or Sally. All day, all night, Mary Ann. Bye, bye, bye. Down by the seashore, sifting sand. Bye, bye, bye. All the little children join in the band. Bye, bye, bye. Singing all day, all night, Mary Ann. Well, hey, how doing? How are you? It's your friendly mutton chop. Too hot. You're too hot mutton chop. That's, that's what's going on. So, uh, I don't even know if you sant what you don't. The, the sunshade, have you even sant that? Don't think you have. I don't think I brought the camera out in a fucking week because the temperatures have just been excruciatingly ridiculous. So I've been getting out, you know, when I can, hour at a time or so, until I'm about dead. And I don't know when the last progress you saw was, but I'll give you the old walkthrough, you know, and uh, then took the ratchet straps off. So yeah, so I got all sorts of a, yeah, all sorts of a, a rigmarole going on here. I don't even not if, don't even not if you can sight it. But uh, I got some angles, and I got some straights, and I got some other angles, and I got some, I got some stringers, and as we're just basically, I'm using which boards I have for the lengths I have. You know, my intent, my original intention was to run two by sixes all the way down, like I did the first two, and like I did on this side. But uh, I quickly, quickly became apparent that that was going to cost a lot of money. And that also, I wasn't really sure about the weight factor. Those, those are heavy, heavy boards, especially since I had pressure treated. And uh, I wasn't sure about the weight on the end here. So I thought better of the design and I thought, well, I'll do some cross bracing for these two to strengthen up the sides. And I'll shoot some angular pieces and I'll, I'll square them up and pull them all together with a 2x6 with a across the middle. And then, uh, how you doing? And then I got all my rafter tails here, which are pretty good, but honestly, I may need to cut off both ends. I may need to cut off both ends of both rafter tails and put a four degree slant on them, four degree pitch, and lock them in there. Because that's, ah, that's the pitch, it's four degrees, but uh. But you may or may not be able to tell that the two on the end are like not quite four degrees so those will have to that'll have to probably come off or I'll have to take off all my rafter tails and do them again I don't know one of the two and uh, I don't know I'll figure it out but as is like my 10 won't even touch my all the rafter tails going through the middle because they're an eighth of an inch lower than the two on the ends or whatever anyway so that's a uh, that's the update, update. I'm about to bring the lights out and start working at night, I think. Because it has literally just been like triple digits and we've had, you know, high 70 humidity, high 70 percentiles in the humidity and high 70, uh, high 70 degree dew points and shit. Degree, is that how you measure a dew point? I don't know, but it's high. So I quit. Well, I don't quit, but I'm about to see if I can't throw up a few more now that that fucking beastly thing is starting to go down and it's not, that's why I put this sunshade up, try to keep some of the heat off of this way so I could work in the latter part of the day and it works, works okay. Doesn't work great. But I don't even think okay. you saw this. I don't even think you saw this, what I'm doing. This is ridiculous. So I've got four two by sixes glued together. Glued together. Oh fuck. I hope they're not glued to the fucking... No, they're just incredibly heavy. Well, yeah, they were a little bit glued. spill out. No big whoop, no big whoop. Alright, so I got four of these fuckers glued together, and then I got another four glued together. Oh yeah, look at all my, look at all my little glue, my little glue squidgies squidging out from my clamp and my screw down. All my little glue squidgies, can you even sant them? Oh my goodness. Did y'all ever put glue on your fingernails in elementary school and let it dry? And then peel it off and convince the girls you're watch let me watch me I can pull my fingernail off. Ah and of course they freaked out too quick to realize that your fingernail was underneath the glue. 
Okay. <clears throat> That's fun, but take the time. So I got another four glued here. It quickly uh I had an intention of running running steel threaded rod through these to to get them all together and I may still do that if necessary, but I don't think it's gonna be necessary. Um I am gonna have to buy some big ass fucking lag screws though. Yeah, I may do that. That may be the easiest way. I'll just have to have to check the cost. But uh Fuck, that's, that's one and a half, three, six. Yeah, I'd have to get some 10 inch lag screws. Those are pretty expensive. It probably will be cheaper to get threaded rod. I mean, I have some, but it's like only quarter inch. And uh, I don't think that's gonna, I don't think it's gonna be sufficient. I mean, it might be. It's for, uh, is it like 900 pounds? Yeah, I don't know, I'll have to double check. It's galvanized, but uh, I'll have to make sure it's. I'll have to see. It's got 900 pounds uh, breaking force, but I think I don't think that's breaking force. Rather, I think that's like suspension force, because I think those are designed to like hang ducting and you know lights and shit from the ceiling, and corporate offices, and warehouses, that type of shit. So I'll have to see. So they can hold. They can suspend 900 pounds without breaking. But how much? Uh, how much? You know, flexi stuff so probably to get thicker ones anyway and my idea is to attach this one to this one I've still got to put this one on there and that'll give me that'll give me what one and a half three six twelve thirteen and a half I'm gonna have to get one more two two by six I forgot because I just used my last one for that middle piece so I have to get one more two by six to complete that and then I will have a four well I have a 15 inch right what six twelve thirteen and a half fourteen and a half fifteen yeah I'll have a 15 inch a 15 inch platform. This is 14 inches, the width of the width of this bottom sawzall where the bolts are. Um, a little bit less than 14. So I'm going to attach that directly to these posts, and then I'm going to have a you know a 15 foot 15 foot 15 inch two by six shelf that goes all the way across. And the reason I did two by six is instead of two by fours. Even though I probably just could have reinforced them with two by fours, and the whole thing would have been way fucking cheaper. But I had two by sixes on hand, and uh, and I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's not too hot to go anywhere, and I don't. And I think it'll be fine. I'm just gonna. I think. I think. I think. That I think it'll be better with the two by sixes because then I don't have to. Then I'm probably not gonna have to drill holes and reinforce them with bars and all that shit. At least that's what I originally thought. I should ramble more. Again, I think I probably will now because I don't think I'll be able to attach all of the boards together without doing it that way. So I think I'll have no choice. But uh, I would have had to just keep on building them up two by two, which would have been fine, and that would have worked. But uh, but then, like, I didn't have any clamps. Well, I do my big ass parallel clamps, but you know my squeeze clamps. I didn't have any big enough to go more, more than four. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. This successful life we're living's got us feuding like the Hatfields and McCoys. Between Hank Williams' pain songs and, and Jerry Joff's train songs and blue eyes crying in the rain, riding Luke in my Texas, ain't nobody feeling no Don't pain. let your babies grow up to be cowboys. And drive them old trucks. Let them be doctors and lawyers and such. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. And they're always alone, even with someone they love. Fuck. All right, getting pretty ridiculous here. Getting pretty ridiculous here with all my wangles and my dangles. <laughs> wangles and my dangles. All right, well that's useless for this project. Can't use that anywhere. But I get this long old bitch still. How dickered is it? Oh, I think this is just leftover. This is a good one. But I think I might be getting too damn, uh, too damn hot for this shit. I think I'm about to quit. I'm getting all itchy. Maybe the bugs are biting me. Maybe that's what's going on. Yeah, I better lock it down. 
Yeah. I feel spider webs on me too, because there were spider webs in all these fucking uh all these all these spider holes that I'm making. They're like, oh, this is awesome. You're making us a framework for our webbing. We love you. I love my cats. Every time I fucking build something, they're like, dude, you are the best. You are See, that's why we love you. Building all these obstacle courses and platforms and man, this is a good cat daddy. Yeah, that's not what's going on. So but we can uh we can definitely but like I say, this is this is ex this is actually the perfect example of, of what I do. Get out here for you know an hour, hour and a half, regardless of the time of day, and I quit because at that point it's just fucking so miserable. You know, even if I come back out multiple times, I don't do it for more than that period of time. Is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying. Saying. You're saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. saying. All right. So look at my dumbass. Look what I did. I, I don't know if this was there. I don't think it was there. I think I made this. I think this is all me with my Diablo blade. Because I had this fucker like this. And I had this fucker like this. And I was cutting a 2x6 at an angle. And uh, I see metal shards start flying everywhere. So I don't know if I cut down that far or if that comes pre-cut. It feels semi-rough. So I think I probably cut it. But uh, yeah, luckily I didn't go all the way through it, but I'm a fucking goose. But it still seems to, that's, that's a testament to the Diablo blades. Still seem to be cutting like a fucking champion. Because I did that on the first board I've cut. Well, I've cut several cents. And uh, yeah. all gloriously cut with no, uh, with no issues of, of chipping or splitting or fracturing. Look at Hush Puppy and Gray, they're so funny. I've never actually seen them fight. They just stare each other down face to face and give the growl down. Kitties, what are we doing? What are we doing, boys? Are we having a big growl off? Can I participate? Poor fellers. Having a big growl off, terrible. If y'all start to attack each other with me here, we're gonna have an issue. And cat stew. Stop it. Why don't y'all separate? Have y'all tried that? Have y'all tried like not being in each other's face and seeing if that's something that works? Yeah. Why don't you why don't you try not being in each other's face? How about that, hush puppy? How about that? Why don't he go over there and you come over here and see how that works out for you. See if that's not a little bit conducive to, to not growling and having fucking a neck like orange. God damn. Well, I definitely need to blow this off, but I guess I'll just do it that way. It gets more fun every time I do it. More fun every time I do it. All right, I think we are, uh... oh, phone. Do we need that? All right, I think we're good to go. Lock this bitch down. So, that's not bad for a day's work. What's up, buddy, ready to come inside? <laughs> 